So in this video I'm going to tell you about the difference between carbon fibre skin boards and regular fiberglass skin boards. Okay, welcome back to another video everybody. I'm Sam Price from RxS Enterprises based down here in New Zealand. I've been covering a lot of skin boarding topics lately. One of the big things I get asked is what is the difference between fiberglass and carbon fibre skin boards. So what I'm going to do is start with telling you exactly what is what. This right here is a 200 gram fiberglass cloth. Very cheap, very strong, great material to be making foam skin boards from as we've seen for many, many, many years. This right here is carbon fiber. This is a 200 gram cloth, which means it is exactly the same weight as this cloth. The difference being with carbon fiber and how it affects your skin board is that it is so much stiffer. It affects the feel and the strength of the skin board so much that we do not need as much of it to construct the skin board. Now we have multiple layers of these for both boards, multiple layers of fiberglass. A carbon fiber skin boards, in short, has one layer of fiberglass, regular fiberglass cloth removed and replaced with this. Now, because this stuff can make a skin board so stiff, it means we don't need as much cloth weight and the rest of the fiberglass layer per, for that board. What this means for you, and I will speak purely for the boards I make, you can make a carbon fiber skin board, which of course is still matched with fiberglass, considerably lighter and stiffer at the same time. Weight was never the premium. I kind of wanted to go a slightly bit lighter. I won't, won't be telling you any exact cloth weight, but there has been a slight removal of cloth weight per board, but with a dramatic increase in stiffness, which of course the positive to that is increased levels of performance per the skin board. So, if you're still with me right now, I have two skin boards in front of me. I have a set of digital scales, which I'd love to show you the reading of what these boards are gonna weigh, but it's had paint and ink and stuff spilt all over the display and it's tough to read. So I'll do, I'll do it for you. I have two boards here. This one's a custom going to Poland. This is one of my large crapper models. These are a big board. These are a big floaty, I mean, at the heaviest end of the waveboard line because just the sheer physical size. This one right here is a carbon fiber skin board. So of course that has a mixture of both these materials in it. This one here is a regular e-glass layout. So there is no carbon fiber in this one. There is only fiberglass great performing material still, um, but what we're going to do right now is weigh it, I'm going to show you how much extra weight there is in the board, I'm not expecting there to be a lot, I'm not expecting the, the plain e-glass board to be too much heavier than the carbon board, but of course the carbon board, which has slightly different tapers as well, so we've taken a tiny bit of, um, tiny bit of foam weight out of the board over this one, and what we're going to do is we're just going to throw it on the scales, See where we're at weight wise and um, maybe at a later date I can show how much it's a bit more harder. We're probably going to have to set something a bit more elaborate up um, to test the actual strength. Of course you can feel it under your feet, you can feel the increased stiffness of the carbon board. So let's go. First up, we'll weigh the carbon one. It's right here, we'll throw the scales on. Keep in mind now this is a big board, obviously if you're going to like a, a splurge shape or a um, sort of medium or a large or something like that, the actual board weight will drop considerably just you know due to the actual physical size of the board. So the scales are zero, let's throw this carbon board up on here. This board right here, just make sure we're getting that accurate reading, is about two, two point three five kilos the glass board now this is the same board same layout same everything um the slight different tapers and of course some more cloth in the board which in turn makes it heavier and we'll expect this to be a little bit heavier than that one and it is it is about two two point four five to two point five kilos which for you Americans out there, I have no idea on your imperial, imperial measurements, but those, the difference in weight is not exact because the boards move around on the scales, but between 100 and 150 grams um, per board, which is not a lot of weight, but there is a weight difference. 
So that is one of the main advantages of a carbon fibre skim board. Of course this is going to vary manufacturer to manufacturer because they may, um, they may play with their glass weights more to, to strip more weight from the carbon boards. Um, but of course what this does mean is that the carbon board as I mentioned earlier in this video, one was weight and one was increased levels of stiffness. This basically means the carbon board is much higher performing due to increased levels of stiffness, durability and performance overall. And as that is one of my most uh, most commonly asked questions, I hope it helps a few of you out. I, like I said, we might try to set something up to actually measure the flex and the stiffness um, of these boards at some stage. I'm not quite sure how at this stage, but um, if you have a have a suggestion feel free to drop it in the comment section below. I've been documenting a lot of back to basics and sort of board build stuff here on this channel so feel free to have a bit of a dig. There's a skimboarding playlist that can pop up on the screen right now. Subscribe to this channel for more and feel free to get in touch if you want your own custom made skimboard. I'm Sam Price, I'll see you at the beach.